castle. Since the 13th century, it has withstood the ravages of time and even the pounding of Russian guns in the last war. British sailors from HMS Glasgow on their first courtesy visit to Poland since the war make an incongruous picture against the typically Baltic architecture of the castle, but its romantic history soon captures their imagination. Originally founded in 1274 by the Teutonic Knights, the castle has changed hands several times between East Prussia and Poland, but it was finally restored to Poland in 1945. Today it stands battle-scarred but unbroken, a triumph of man's creative genius over the powers of destruction. One man who would be greatly admired in Poland, where contemporary design is always respected, is British potter and sculptor Bernard Moss. Bernard, helped only by his painter wife, has established a tiny but specialized industry in Cornwall. Using homemade molds of his own original figures and by drain casting liquid clay known as slip, Bernard turns out his models in their first rough form, ready for his wife Maureen to paint. Sometimes they are novelty figures, sometimes artistic ceramics, animals or fish. Maureen, mother of three, finds that whatever shape they are, they allow her to express her own love for bright colors and unusual effects. After painting, the figures are left to dry, fired in a kiln at 1100 degrees centigrade, glazed and fired again. But first they are fitted for balance with the nodding heads. Finished, they are a typical example of the moss art and sense of humor. Permanent glazing ensures that this is one novelty at least that will never wear off.